All right, hey there. So I just wanted to show off some things I found in the uh, uh, Android 3.0 emulator just while playing around with it. So I found they've actually implemented um, parts of the device API, uh, which is a new spec by the W3C to specify, you know, how to handle, you know, inputs like from the camera and the microphone and so forth and webcams and, you know, all that is sort of lumped in, in the same category. Um, and it's pretty cool. So, so actually, since uh, since Android 2.2, uh, they've actually implemented support for just the plain old input input type equals file, uh, which surprisingly isn't even available on iOS um, because of you know file system concerns. When you when you load this up, you don't want like the internals of the operating system to be exposed. You just probably want you know pictures and things like that exposed. So. So Android has taken that approach, and um, you know, as of 2.2, they give you access to your own gallery, so you can see the pictures you've taken, and upload those through that. So that's pretty cool. And what they've added now uh, is actually support to go directly to the camera. Um, so so when you have that that generic input type file up here, it brings up this context menu, which I have running in the emulator on the left hand side. This is Android 3.0, by the way, but it's forced down into a smaller screen area. Uh, so the default is a large, uh, you know, tablet size view, but I found that to run pretty sluggish on my laptop. So this works a little bit better. Uh, anyhow, uh, so, the, you know, provides support for taking a still picture on the top here. We're taking a video in camcorder mode uh, for taking, you know, an existing video or picture from your gallery, an existing music track, or you can take a new, um, you know, a sound. You could take you could take a new recording through your through your microphone, and uh, actually, there's no cancel on this, and I would I would assume that there's a uh, you know a back button on the actual device or something like that. But here it's not provided, so I'm gonna have to click on one. And unfortunately, it's just the emulator, so it's gonna try to go to the camera as you see right now, and then it's gonna crash as it realizes it's not an actual Android device as it hangs its head in shame. But you could see, so it's going sideways for some reason. As you can see, it's trying to load the camera application, but it fails, but that's cool. You know, obviously you could see if you're on an actual device, you know, that's what would be loading up. Um, you know, what's new is this device API um, where you can, you can tell it to go directly to what you want, what you want captured. Uh, and you, you do this through the, on the right hand side I have the source of, of this page, very simple test page and you do this through um, this line here so here you're saying I want to capture a picture uh, an image more specifically uh, and I want to do it through this this device which is the camera uh, so on the left hand side here that's the mime type this is just saying this is a an image and I'm going to accept whatever image type you throw at me, right? Whatever format you accept, I'll take it. And, and that's the device again, I want to capture it through. So what does that look like, right? It should take me right to the camera, right? It shouldn't bring up a context menu, right? And that's exactly what we get. So so it's like we've skipped, you know, over that context menu. We know exactly where we want to go, but it crashes again, right? Sorry, <laughs> so so that's cool though. You you know that something's happening. You know you know it's trying to load up the camera. Same thing for camcorder, except it's going to take you directly to um, camera video mode. Uh, so you can see it's trying to do that right now, and now it's going to crash miserably. No, okay. <laughs> so and then microphone, it's cool. It'll take you right to. The, you know, recording a, a new a new sound in the sound recorder, and this actually does work. So, uh, so I can test it, testing, testing. Do I have the microphone? This actually works in the emulator, but it might not while I'm recording. It might be a complication. In any case, oh, there we go. Yeah, it looks like it might be working. So let's stop it. Hope it doesn't crash. Come on, stop. <laughs> Okay, there we go. And we'll say, okay, yeah, we'll use that recording. And you can see that that's been, you know, saved to the file system, or it's, it's been, you know, presented through that API, and now you can manipulate it, or you could upload it to the server. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. 
Uh, and you could see, um, you know, just like what I explained um, for the video and the audio formats, this is the mime type and this is the device you want to capture it through. Camcorder is just camera and video mode and microphone is the microphone, of course. Pretty cool. Pretty cool considering this, <laughs> it, not even the top one has been implemented on iOS yet. Uh, so I'm sure they're scrambling to get, to get this out, but this is this is pretty awesome. This is another step in bringing you know web apps up to speed <laughs> on uh, almost on par with native apps now. So pretty cool. Go go play around with it. <laughs> so that's all I have to show you. Hope you enjoy.